Yes. Welcome back to another episode of an hour max with Moxie. And today's clue of the day is probably it's gonna be one of my quotes. And I'm gonna say Do your shit before your shit do you. Maxington Williams. Um how y'all doing? How you doing? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking deep, bro. You doing too much. Um, how I'm feeling today? My body's sore as fuck. My back hurt. My neck hurt. My ass cheeks hurt. Not from, not from any homoerotic behavior or butt play my butt hurts my spinal my tailbone that's crazy oh and by the way your boy had a job slanging them pizzas slanging them pizza eaters dog you have no idea the trap be booming at speak cheesy that's the name of it speak cheesy Get it? Like, speak easy, but speak cheesy. Anyway, trap be booming. Niggas, we sold out the dough. We close early. People are in and out of that bitch like weed shops. It's fucking, it's nice. Your boy, job acquired. So you know what that means. That means studio time is on the way. So I feel hopeful, and I feel soulful. I'm so full of being so full. I can't eat any more souls like Shang Tsung. Ah, Mortal Kombat joke probably went over everyone's heads. It's all cool. It's all cool. A couple days ago at the bar, I pulled two random cards for a deck from a deck with the homie Jeremiah. And guess what I pulled? A four and a seven. Could it be any more possible that the land of the 47s are trying to get my attention? It works every single time. I could be in like some deep seated. I could be in some deep rage, you know, just hella heated up, like on my Bruce Banner shit, like the Incredible Hulk. And guess what? Guess what? I see forty seven. I turn back to Bruce Banner. So I went from Bruce Banner to being the Hulk, uncontrollable rage, and then I see the forty sevens, and then I go back to normal. That's just me, you know. Uh, what am I thinking today? Today I'm thinking, damn, working out is not the hard part. It's the part after working out. I can't even tell you my arms feel like fucking weeble wobbles. I don't know. My my arms feel like spaghetti. Some spaghetti. Yeah. Back hurts. Neck hurts. I went and asked the homie who works out all the time. Like a Greek god type shit. I asked him, oh, should I be this sore from working out? He's like, where do you feel it at? I was like, here? He's like, maybe that's from your posture and standing all day. <laughs> that's what? If I'm standing, I got so you mean. I'm over here ripping muscles to shreds, doing the pull of the ups, the push of the ups, the sit of the ups. And you're telling me standing is what gets me sore? Fuck out of here. Man. I just want to be left alone. Oh, uh, spazzing out. Spazzing out today. You know, it's early in the morning. I think I had to get up. And yo, yo, what's up with barbershops? You know? Fucking barbershop. Dude, $40 minimum for a haircut? $45 minimum? Dude, Right before I had my job interview at Speak Cheesy, before I solidified the deal, I had to chop off some of this hair that's been wagging, that's been bandwagoning on my head, like from the sides, you know, fucking up my my Prince Couture. And so I go, I called around, I called about 
10 local barbershops. All of them, $40 plus. I had 30. You know, I acquired 30 bucks. I was like, this should be enough. I got the spot that's usually $25 or $20. I call them just to, you know, just double check. They say 40. I'm like, okay. All right. I'm out to go up in this. That's when I decided, like, I'm going to go into that motherfucking shop. I know they all niggas. I'm going to spin a quick story. And I spun a quick story because I wanted some pity because I needed a motherfucking haircut. So I go in there and, like, I start spinning my web of lies. Goddamn, Michael Weston would be proud of me. So I'm in there spinning my web of lies. And it goes a little something like, er, 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 like this. I was locked up in L.A. County. Because me and my cousin were slinging that half over that Mexican nose candy. And we had a weapon on. I had a faux five. I didn't have my stuff in baggies. He had his stuff in baggies. So I didn't get distro. I convinced my judge that. I convinced... I convinced everybody that it, uh, it was personal use. Like, I'm fucking... I'm Johnny Deppin' at a low level. Um, I thought that was going to be the end of the lie. We ended up talking about it for, like, 30 minutes. The whole duration of the haircut, we ended up talking about it. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? What turned... What started from one line multiplied to about 17. I had no idea what I was talking about. I didn't think this far. Like, what block were you on? I was like, shit, I don't know. This is like my first time out here, you know? We were in Riverside. Good. And then they were like, what jail did you go to? I was like, oh, uh, like, yeah. He's like, yeah, man, because it's Riverside, still LA. I was like, oh, God, thank God. Wiping the sweat off my forehead, off my brow. I just couldn't believe it. 40000 40 bucks for goddamn hair. 40 bucks for a little eh, eh, on the side. A little eh, line up and an eh, taper. Boom. 45 bucks? You want to tip too? Hell nah. I told them niggas I'll be back. And I'll tip them when I see them. I needed this haircut for a job interview. And that was the only truth I told that day. Specifically that time frame. And then I went back to being honest Abe. You know? Fuck. Ugh. What a day. Dale, dale, dale. <laughs> oh, dude, the Bibigo commercials. These stuck in my head. I wake up screaming. That Bibigo? It's like, Bibigo, go, go, go. Bibigo, go, go, go. Bibigo, go, go, go. Soon stuck in my head. Get out. But they never want to get out. They come, but they never get out. And that's on them. That's on game. Um, man, feeling good. Feeling, feeling lit. Feeling all right. Took a break from drinking alcohol for about a week. And I ran right back to it. Does that make me weak? No, it doesn't. It just makes me another nigga who falls very short. When it comes to addiction. And I do believe I'm addicted. I'm addicted to a lot of things. I'm addicted to living. I'm addicted to watching bullshit on TV. Shit, man. We all know about the the pornography addiction. We all know about that. Because it's a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. By the way, it's October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my birthday, Brats and Twins, or you know, we got Drake the day after my birthday. We got 21 and Kim Kardashian two days before my birthday. We got Doja Cat a couple days before my birthday. We got NBA Youngboy close around my birthday. We got fucking Little Dirk close around my birthday. That's the only time they'll ever be close, by the way. Them motherfuckers hate each other. Them motherfucking niggas hate each other. Fucking forty dollars a haircut, dude. I still can't get over that. That's just, dude. It's been at least seven, six days, uh, five days since I had my haircut, and like, I'm still pissed. 
I'm still seething at the teeth with all this bull forty dollars. That's robbery. Speaking of robbery, this is that an actual highway robbery. Have you heard of the term civil forfeiture? I'll wait. Apparently, it's when like a state trooper or whatever say say let me let me just verbatim spit it spit it in a maxi tone. Say you're driving. I'm going to give this guy's example. Say you're a Marine, a retired ex-Marine, and you don't trust banks at all. You're moving from state to state to go see your kids or your kids' kids, you know. You bring all your money around because, like I said, you don't believe in banks. Highway Patrol stops you. They go through your shit. And then they find a large amount of cash in their plastic bag. It's your cash. Your cash, by the way. You got the receipts. It's your money. You withdraw everything from what could have been maybe a safe in your house. Because, you know, you're moving. You're driving long distances. You need the money. They could just take, say you had about like, uh, what do you have? Like roughly like 80, what, 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 say you had $80,000. So you're a retired ex-Marine. Driving to go see your kin, and you don't believe in banks, and you have eighty thousand dollars, close to a hundred thousand dollars, and a plastic bag with receipts. Your money, by the way. They could stop you and hit up the DEA and ask them why you're moving large amounts. Like he's moving large amounts of money. We gotta do something. I think it might be drug money. So I think he's trafficking in cash. They bring a dog. To smell the cash, to you know, cause cocaine. Eighty percent of the cash in play today has traces, trace amounts of cocaine on it. That Colombian quicksand, so to speak. And they confirmed there was coke on the on the bills. You, and now they take all your money. You forfeit your cash over. They give it to the DEA. If you can't, if they can't figure out, like if they figure out you're using this for some illegal shit, the state troopers, their department, they get a kickback of, uh, I think they get like 60 or some shit. They get a huge percentage that they get to keep of your money. FYI, this example I just used happened to a real breathing human being who was an ex-Marine. <clears throat> Shit's scandalous out here. Civil forfeiture, more like, give us your money, we cops. And that's why cops can suck a dick. Bupkis. Um, they should be chasing after Orlando Brown and his cameraman and these guys who keep on interviewing him. To, hey, Mr. Brown, Mr. Praise him, Mr. Brown, please put the crack cocaine down. Please put the crack cocaine down. This nigga really thinks legit. He legit thinks that Drake, Aubrey Drake Graham, is Raven Simone. That's a problem. That's a motherfucking problem. Who's asking you these questions? Who? Why? How is he still famous? Last time I seen him look sober. That's all Raven. Raven's gay, by the way. Orlando Brown, I think, was trying to tap that. This shit got out of hand real fast. And then crack cocaine entered the conversation, and it's pretty much downhill from that. Like, come on, man. Who seriously, you seriously clinging on to what little fame you have left? And you're saying shit like Drake and Raven Simone aren't, re not, not related. The Drake and Raven Simone are, in fact, the same person. And then he also went on some rant talking about 
trying to see his daughter. That fucking P. Diddy has because his daughter and I is not Puffy's. I don't know. That's about as confusing as my cat who uses piddle pads instead of actually going inside of a fucking cat pan. You know? That's crazy. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> Where my drink at? Where my drink at? Where my drink at? Here it is. That was juice I've been sitting in the cup for two days in the in the corner of my room. I hope it's still good. Because, you know, for a minute, if, you know, you ever just leave cranberry juice out for an extended period of time and then you realize, oh, shit. There's cotton balls growing in this bitch. Oh, shit. My cranberry juice is turning into a fur baby. Oh, shit. Why why, why did I leave it to this point? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, by showing hands, even though I can't see them. Um, how many of y'all miss being bored? Is it just me? Is it just me? I feel like I can't get bored in in today's society. I could just toss on YouTube anytime. Boom. There's a fix with dopamine. I could just access pornography or hit up some chick. Boom. Next. Dopamine hit. Um, what else? I could eat food, dopamine hit. There's so much fucking additives in fucking food. You eat a cheeseburger and feel fucking comfortably fine. Um, what else? Sl- phone, Instagram, Snapchat. Hey, man, I've been doing my Instagram on and off. So sorry if I don't get everybody's messages. It's just that that motherfucking thing, that motherfucker's not real. <laughs> Dude. That motherfucker's just not real, dog. And it's a problem. It's a problem. Like, I have to delete it. So, no hard feelings. I just got to get it sometimes. I just like, like today, I woke up, immediately went on Instagram, scrolled mindlessly, didn't even know where my mind was. And all of a sudden, it's, it's fucking two hours have passed. I feel like goddamn Mulder and X-Files. Whenever I see aliens, I just lose track of time. I look up, look down, like, fuck, it's been two hours. I've done nothing but scroll endlessly and double tap on, on bitches who be popping their behinds like fireworks on 4th of July. You feel me? You gots to. But I do miss being bored. Too much immediate stimuli. I do miss being bored. I do miss being able to daydream more often. You don't get to do all that shit. That's why I fucking hate. Especially because, like, you know, I'm a motherfucking witch. And I do magic. And I believe in fucking all of attraction and the universe and all that bullshit. It's like, you have to be able to daydream. So you can see what you want. You can fantasize. You can feel, like, what you want. You can get in tune with that feeling. But there's so, so much fucking stimuli nowadays. It's like... You, you you can. I think the powers that be know exactly what's up. I think they're doing it to the minuses. You know, I didn't mean to go hold Alex Jones on that ass, but I feel like th- they stole our attention, so we can't have intentions. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm a fucking god. Who came up with that? I did. Who 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 drew the lines and connected set dots to other set dots? I did. They're stealing attention. From our intention. Hence. The talk of the tick. A.K.A. TikTok. Stupid app. Real dumb app. People get really successful on that app. I could post a picture. Of peanut butter. Under my armpits. While I walk around flapping my wings as if I'm some type of pigeon man with shit under my armpits. 
and um, I'll get a billion views. But the thing is, a billion views don't translate translate over like the same way it does over on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, or any other uh, or any of these other social media sites. It's the bottom of the barrel. It's a Chinese app, and they did it to steal our attention away from our intention. You go on Instagram, everybody can feel like a star right away. You know? Shit. Uh, I felt something touch my neck. Is it because it's spooky season? There's no one in the room with me. I felt someone touch my neck. Is it because it's spooky season? Dude, I mean, was it my hair? I mean, I don't know. Is it my, is it because it's spooky season? I think. Shit, hey, fun fact. Mob robbings are dumb as fuck. And if you participate in one, you're the problem. You're what's wrong with society. Going in groups of 10s and 20s, running into an Apple store knowing damn well they can't do anything because apparently shoplifting is looked at differently now. When I was shoplifting, I got touched. They touched me like a dirty uncle on my birthday. They touched my shoulder like, hey, come with us. Hey, come here. You're not even supposed to touch these guys or even talk to them. And yeah, and then here's, and then just to get real cocky on them, I was, um, I used to every day it, you know, I used to every day it from Walmart. But also, coincidentally, I've gotten caught by Walmart multiple times. Nothing too serious, but, you know, multiple times in my childhood. And supposedly, they have the most elite anti-shoplifting system in the world. With all their, they have real cameras, fake cameras. They can zoom in and read text on your phone. And trust me, my guy, at first glance, you might think this is bullshit. Because Walmart, you're protecting discounted goods. You're protecting deals, rollout deals. Remember when they used to have the happy face? I don't think they do that anymore. I think that's fucking... I think they, they probably consider that, like, uh, racist because he's yellow. And, you know, what yellow stands for. I canceled. Um, yeah, man, mob robbings, man. Like, yeah, so, like, don't doubt it. I, I was in the back. And they do have those cameras, in fact, locked in like a motherfucker. Like, they can zoom in and see exactly who you're texting or whatever you're doing. They can zoom in and say, yeah, for a fact, you can zoom into someone's fucking, fucking whole fucking teal, teal, whole fucking toes in the heel. You get the whole arch. You can see all the little fucking arches. You can count all the wrinkles with this shit. Gotta be careful, man. Walmart controls the world. You ever see that South Park episode? Watch it. Another fun fact, your colon can hold 15 to 25 pounds of the brown logs, also known as stool, at any given time. And your tummy's never really ever empty, empty, because the bacteria in your body is always making more shit. So when you think the shit's about to stop, there's more shit. That could be, you know, if I change the context of that, I mean, that's just life. That's life in the barrel. That's life in a barrel with holes in it. Like, you just leaking information. You Alex Jones in right now. Fucking foaming out the mouth with all these damn conspiracy theories. But I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's finally October, bitches. But it's not October 3rd. Shout out Mean Girls. Nah, but it's finally October OVO. October's very young. That's me, not Drake. Um, it's spooky season, dog. Ooh. Anybody got an idea on their outfit? Anybody know what they want to dress up as? I mean, I was thinking about going as Tally. You know, by then I should have my shit. I should have my green up, my weed up. 
and uh, I have naturally born red eyes, you know. I My eyes are big and brown and beautiful, but they can get real red and low real fast. Real fast, like. Yeah, man, I'm thinking about being towel-y, just but, like, it's so hard to find a good towel outfit. Like, a towel. And I ain't trying to do that bitch shit where I just wear a t-shirt that has them on it. Like, nah, like, I want to be towel-y. And I want to carry joints on me and be smoking, like, just a little more. <laughs> hey, South Park is dope. South Park has been goaded a long time ago in my book. I love it. I like it a lot. <laughs> when I, sorry. Um, just laughing like a hyena, pushing boatloads of air out of my mouth. You know, <laughs> you know when you fucking... <laughs> Man, it's officially spooky season. Get your outfits. Watch them scary. I watched the Rob Zombie version of the Michael Myers. Come watching all the Halloweens. I'm watching all of our movies. I am Fear Fest AMC. And if you're familiar with Fear Fest AMC or sci fi around this time, they play nothing but spooky, scary movies all day, every day, until like November 1st. So October 1st to November 1st, we up in that bitch. And you know, me. Your boy is a fan of the horror ra 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 category. Re. Re re, oh my god. Amy <laughs> Gee. Um, yeah, the Rob Zombie version of Michael I mean Michael Myers. Rob Zombie's version of Halloween, his Michael Myers, is I'ma say it, he's straight up thug he thug. He thugging it. First of all, they made this man extremely tall. He's like 6'7", six, 6'8", six, the whole goddamn time. It makes Danny Trio look like a midget. Don't know how tall he is. Let's look it up. Such a hard name not to forget, you know? Let's see his height. He can't be short, right? Oh, my God. He's 5'6"? Never mind. He made Michael Myers look like he was 6'11". Just squeezing niggas' heads till they till they brain pops. And uh he was a tough cookie to crack. By the I did a little kill count. First of all, by the time he was ten years, he had like three, four bodies. Yeah, one, he killed that guy, he said, Your mama sucked my dick for a nickel, I bet. And then and then we have what else? What else? Oh, yeah, then he had his, his dad, his sister, his older sister, and the sister's boyfriend. Yeah, and then the nurse. But you got to shoot that nigga. To, first of all, he kills 28 people in the combination of two movies. And second, you got to shoot Michael Myers for 20 minutes for him to go down. Only way he goes down, shoot him for 20 minutes. Only way to kill him. Only way to kill him. And your boy is back. Um, had to take a brief little pause because actually I paused for the whole day. My special friend came over and, uh, me and her were kicking it and, um, she happened to finish doing whatever she was doing before I had a chance to finish up my cast because I was being lazy because body was feeling like shit. But guess what? Guess what happened? Guess why I never finished the cast that same time? Guess why? I got the fever. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah. Got a fucking fever from drinking alcohol. Fuck yeah. Took a break from drinking alcohol. Came back, had three or four drinks. Got the fucking fever. Had the chills. Body was aching. Didn't know if it was because I was standing up all day. If I was doing the push of the ups the wrong way or what. But guess what? Your boy caught a fever. Let's go. Terrible. It was just terrible. But. But I survived. Took a pain pills. Put a wet rag on my head. Hit some of this weed tin. Had a few sandwiches. Watch Hereditary again. Hereditary was dope. I don't even really remember watching it the first time. But I do remember the... 
the little clicky noises that that one little uh, that one little chick was doing the weird chick. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's more creepy than scary. I loved how it had no background music. I saw a common theme. There's a common theme in there. Let's just say, watch your head. Um. Yeah, man. Where do we leave off at? What was it? You're talking about shooting Michael Myers for 20 minutes in the Rob Zombie version? Whoop. I'm about to watch the new Halloween, the the one that came out in 2018. It's so weird because the timeline, like Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2 was a whole nother universe. And then you have these new three that's coming out. I mean, the one that came out in 2018, 2019, 2021, I think. The Halloween Kills or some shit. Halloween Returns, I don't know what it was, but the, the the recent three that Danny McBride was co-writer on played more true to the original Michael Myers, but it also picked up where that left off, where the original left off, and in the complete timeline, H20 never happened, Halloween, um, the one with Buster Rhymes never happened, and Tyra Banks, the... There's like three or four of them that never happened. It's, it's so confused. It's really confusing. I don't even know what I'm trying to explain to y'all. But it's really fucking stupidly confusing. But. And then they named the newer ones the same title. The newer one for 2018 is still the same. Same name as the fucking original. And they all got Laurie Strode. You got that Scream Queen. The Scream Queen. Can't even squeeze like her, but I was screaming when I saw these sea salt flavored waters, seltzer waters at Seven Eleven. In a can. With Ken from Street Fighter. Next to the tuna sandwiches. And cheese. The drink wasn't even where most beverages would be placed, which is. The big ass refrigerator where beverages are placed. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Sea salt flavored water. The fuck wants to drink that? Two words. Not me. Ha! Hey, any of you guys got to chill them? You know, those little. It's like. One of those pipes you smoke weed out of, but it could also double down as like a crack pipe. Like, do smoking out of a chill? First of all, the name Chillum. Okay, borderline stupid. But when I'm smoking out of the Chillum, feels like I'm smoking crack rocks, bro. Like I can't, I can't smoke this in like outside. I can't smoke this outside. People are going to think I'm hitting the pokey. Bad enough I'm attached to the green like Velcro. Now you're going to tell me people are going to think I'm crackheading? I mean, no offense. Crackheads are cool. I mean, no offense. not trying to throw shade on anyone. I mean, when's the last time you saw a broke crackhead? When's the last time you see a crackhead say they didn't have no money? They not smoking track today. Ever. Because they out there hustling. And as the quote goes, don't let a crackhead out hustle you. Ma'am. Ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Go get that dollar dollar bill, (laughs) y'all. Oh, China wants their pandas back. China wants their motherfucking pandas back. There's only a few pandas left because they're on contract. I think it's in Orlando or some shit. I don't know. Damn. They want their pandas back. Because we're not... Hey, it's like a bad fucking relationship when you break up. It's like, I want my CDs back. I want my... I'm serious. I want, I'm so, so serious. I'm serious. I'm on my CDs back. 
I want my stuffed animals and my CDs back. Oh, okay, you can hold on to them for a second, but as soon as three months pass and we're officially, 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 official broken up, then I want my CDs back. You know what, China? Keep your fucking mixed black and white Oreo looking fucking bears, dog. We don't want them. We don't want them chill ass motherfuckers smoking on chillums and eating bamboo sticks. Take your crack rocked out panda bear back. It just sucks because they're exclusive to China. But hey, man. We got some exclusivities here, too. For one. We can go on the internet anytime we want to and look up anything. We're not fucking censored. For two, the more reasons I list right here, I'm going to sound like some fucking communist racist ass bastard. So I'm not going to even indulge in that. Um, 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 uh, oh, jeez. It's not remembering. It's getting triggered. I kind of shook a little bit. Dude, I went to the fucking, the bank. I went to the ATM. I went to Chase, the ATM. And I went to fucking, to fucking, what am I, fucking Filipino? Filipino mother. I went, I went to fucking pull out money. <laughs> and there was a line. Well, first off, I went through the door, and the door is open, but there's no more ATM machine inside. So I'm like, cool, I gotta be outside with the, the rest of these motherfuckers are. I thought I had one on them, one up on them. I was like, oh shit, they don't even know about the one in the back, the secret one in the back. Whatever. I lollygogged my white ass over there. My white ass. My 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 light skin, black and white ass over there. I go. I'm standing in line. Now, this guy ahead of, a couple ahead of me. There's a couple ahead of me and then a guy in front of them. Now, this guy leaves with no money, and he's just confused. He keeps on trying his card over and over again. Hey, do your thing. Try your card as many flipping times as humanly possible, as long as you don't feel the notion that you might get your ass beat for wasting people's time. Or that people are judging you simultaneously in their head as we are all looking at each other, wondering what the fuck is taking you so long to pull out your bread. Please. So, uh, I'm waiting. We're waiting. I'm waiting. It's just me. Uh, we is like oh, the collective of motherfuckers. So, we're waiting. And this guy leaves. I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever. It took a long time. This couple ahead of me goes. And it keeps on. I don't know if they were entering the wrong password. They were putting in the wrong number. But you just hear the beep, 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 beep. I'm like, dude, if the machine's broken, let motherfuckers know. Because how are we going to know if you're not going to fucking say anything? We're just all going to keep on putting our cards in here and and just getting fucked? Like, we got hands around ankles? Like, so a few beep beeps later, I'm like, fuck this shit. Where is the, where is the other one? Because there's two on two sides of the parking lot. Now, I had no real reason to be mad. I had no real place to get to. I was just making really good time. I was like, damn, man, like, no red. You know you know how it goes. You There's, there's no red lights. There's no one in front of you, so you, uh, you don't got to slow your roll. You don't got to possess yourself because it's a resace now. And, dude, I'm just fucking, I'm just fucking, like, making great time, man. Like, you know, it's right around the block type-ish, maybe. And, like, give or take. I was supposed to be there 10, 15 minutes. in the 25, 30. And I had no, I had no reason to be this late. And anyway, so I go to the other one. You know, so beep, 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 beep. I go to the other one. There's one guy in front of me. There's a guy and then another couple. I'm like, whatever. This guy pulls out bread, though. Boom. Takes him 10 minutes. And 51 seconds. But he pulls out bread though. Now. This lady in front of me. Decides to take 10 minutes. It feels like as well. And it feels like 10 minutes. It could have been 3 or 4. But you know when you're waiting in line. 3 or 4 minutes passes by like 10. And 10 minutes feels like 20. And so on and so forth. 
But it finally comes my turn. I remember some lady, lady like that was behind me, was like, "Oh, does this, does this one work?" I'm like, "Yeah, the person ahead of me is pulling out money. This takes a while." I say, "All right, cool." So I fucking now it's my turn. My number's been called, and uh, I time myself. I'm counting, Bruh, No, no bippity, no bippity bap, no captain cap, none of that. I swear to you, on God, it took. Like 31 seconds. From card being inside, me typing the code, me typing how much I wanted. First of all, to get deeper with you, it took me 10 seconds to do that. The rest of the time, I was waiting for the machine to like finish its thinking. You know, I was waiting for the machine to be like, the machine was like, and it's like, take your card, take take the receipt, then take the money. So that took up most of the time. I was done. No bippity bop bap. I was done 15 seconds if you really want to. And I see something that people didn't see. And it was a question right after you you put in how much you want to take out. We will ask you some stupid yes or no question. And I hit no. I hit no. As soon as that shit came on the screen, I hit no. Like a goddamn extreme fucking video gameographer. Is that a word? Video gameographer? I don't know. But I hit that bitch so motherfucking fast. Woo! I looked at the chick behind me, the one who asked me the question. I was like, less than a minute. 30 something seconds. 20 seconds. Whatever the fuck. 51, whatever the fuck the seconds was. Now the numbers lost on me, but I kid you not. Shit, you not. It was way under a minute. And it was. Miraculous, actually. I think everybody was looking at me like, damn, how the fuck did this guy do that shit so fast? And I, it's just practice, you know, sticking it in, pulling it out, getting some bread for it, keeping the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> Same with relationships. That's why I'm so good at it, sticking it in, pulling it out, getting some bread, saving receipts. <laughs> Oh, I'm such an idiot. I love it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smart, dumb nigga. Say, uh, I think the term was coined by a Cat Williams. Oh, man. But seriously, man, how long does it take to get money out of an, AP, an ATM? Fucking, you know, you know, when you're dealing with a bunch of numb nuts, it's just, you just gotta, you just gotta find a way around it. You know, you just got to find a way around it. Um, I saw pale. <laughs> I saw pale. Have you guys, uh, you guys seen that video? I saw pale. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Definitely got to turn it down so we don't get no ads. Definitely gonna get demonetized because of songs that play here. Uh, copyright something, but hey. That's just the way it crumble of the cookies. That's where the cookie be crumbling. Where is it? I so pale. This shit's hilarious. Okay. We got a commercial from Pipe Drive. Shout out Pipe Drive. This is not a paid sponsorship, but it's driving business growth. so pale you're on it <laughs> today's snow is crippling much of the washington oh gosh she went from fucking around to professional she went from pro fuckery to professional in three seconds i so pale and her friend chimes in you're on the air right now and you see look at the panic in her eyes i so pale you're on it. Today's snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. One of three inches of snow <laughs> fell in Seattle and other areas. Oh, dude. I so pale. She's staring blankly into the camera. I guess waiting for a countdown. They're both looking at the camera. She's just, I so pale. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. You gotta love it. Oh, you guys seen this one? Can you tell me what your relationship with Donald Sterling is? I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm man. Already fucking it up. Right hand. I'm 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 Donald Sterling's right hand arm man. man. Donald Sterling's the one who was the owner of the Clippers or some shit like that. And then somebody, I think her daughters or somebody was chilling with Bandy Johnson. And she's like, those are the enemies. Don't be hanging out with the enemies. And everyone at first thought the enemies like, oh, Lakers, Clippers, blah, blah, blah. But like, nah, Sterling was racist. But his, Barbara Walters interviewing, what was her name? V, v Stefanio? About her boyfriend, Donald Sterling. And I guess she was the one who recorded it. I don't know. I don't give a shit about the story. I give a shit about the video. Can you tell me what your relationship with Donald Sterling is? I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm man. Man, man. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, his best friend, his silly rabbit. His what? His <laughs> I'm Mr. Sterling's everything. His con lover, his confidant. And she looks down and looks back up like, his silly rabbit. At R.I.P. Barbara Walters, the great goddess of interviews. His what? Does he actually call you that? Is that what he calls you? No. Uh, deflated. Let's start it again. Can you tell me what your relationship with Of course, I'm his left Sterling arm, right nut is. hand man. I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm man. Fucked up. I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, his best friend, ah. his silly rabbit. And she ooped? His what? His silly what? His silly rabbit? Yes. Is that what he calls you? No. Is that what he calls you? No. <laughs> Is that what he calls you? No. What a fucking dipshit. What a dipshit. Uh, for all my basketball heads out, all my baller brats. Just wanted to say, Dame Time, if you haven't already moved from uh, underneath that rock that you shelter yourself so prevalent in and so heavily. Dame Time, Damian Lillard is headed to Milwaukee after he specifically said he'll never join a super team or a team that recently won a chip. He immediately proceeds to do that. That's cool. Um, what else is am I thinking about? Oh, Bill Burr's Live at the Troubadour 3. So fucking good. Shout out Bill Burr. Funniest, one of the funniest men I've ever, one of the funniest mans I've ever heard. Is it mans or men? I'm an idiot. Correct me in the comments. Um, yeah, it's super duper good. It's like a freestyle comedy session with, with like some key points that he wants to talk about, and he's just singing on the couch. It's like, dude, at first I thought two and a half hours. I'm like, all right. it was like pretty long. It was like an hour and a half or two hours or something. I was like, damn, it's a long time. But when it ended, I was like, damn. Kind of wish it was still here. Whatever. Um, I watched the movie, The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Bomb. Dot. Com. Bomb dot com. That I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it for you. Or anything. Let's just say, please watch it and don't read anything about it. Oh, and you know, and you know, and you know how I be feeling about making movies. 
and you're using a different race than what's branded on the original. You know how I feel. Everybody in the world knows how I feel about oceans. What oceans eight? Oceans nine? Whatever the fuck that was. Oceans eight. I fucking hated it. I only stayed because I got a little crush on Sandra Bullock. Now, making Little Mermaid black kind of roasted my kids. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, don't do it. And I've actually think I've been quoted saying, don't do it. No. I think they were going to make, before Will Smith had the slap that was heard around the world when he was assaulting Chris Rock on stage in front of millions of viewers and a an live audience of peers. Um, I thought he was going to play the first black, gay, trans, non-binary Batman. And that was me joking around. And then I go to find out there's going to be a new Superman movie. They're going to make him black. Now, pump your brakes. I know what you might be thinking. I know what you think. Hey, Max, but you don't like that shit, right? Not typically. But this Superman's from another universe. And I'm not saying, like, another universe, like, like, like the Halloween universe is what we're talking about, like the Rob Zombies and the... And the was it John Carpenter and Danny McBride Hopeman. Not like those type of universes. Like we just make up a universe because of different like the oceans could have been like, oh in a different universe, Sandra Books was actually Danielle Ocean. Like, nah, not like that. Like in the universe he's actually black. Like the like, like superheroes have different universes. Like Green Lantern's black in a few of them and white in most of them. But they're thinking about casting Michael B. Jordan. And, dude, they put that man in everything. Like, is there a shortage of, like, black actors that actually know what the fuck they're doing? Like, he already played with Fearmonger or whatever the fuck his name was on fucking... On fucking... On Black Panthers. I heard it was a great movie. I just fell asleep because I drank way too many beers. And then went to the theaters to watch it. So I haven't watched it since because, you know, I don't want people... It's too fresh on people's dism. And I want to, like, just come through, you know, just come through in a second go check it out. So I might check it out next year. You know, fuck it. But yeah, it's going to be Michael B. Jordan. He's the Superman Khalil from Earth-23. And that's all I know about... That's all I know about it doesn't seem stupid at all but what does sound stupid dog smoke break and i'll tell you oh yeah yeah, that was nice um australian man sues hospital for one billion kangaroo dollars Mm mm-hmm A.K.A. 643 million American. Sues the hospital for letting him watch his wife's C-section in 2018. Said it gave him a psychotic illness. And guess what? When he goes to court, he's going to be self-represented. Um, what else? Stupid 16-year-old kid cuts down a 300-year-old tree in England. Why? Why? Like, I just don't understand people. Like, this whole new trend of just fucking up things that are, like, that holds so much, like, I don't want to say value. It just holds so much history, dude. You know? And I just don't understand what drives a person to ruin a painting. Remember those? Remember those people? Fucking doing red paint or shit on that. Shit like that on like the art. And then super gluing their hand on it. Yeah man. This police who earlier said they were investigating. What was believed to be a deliberate act of vandalism. Said a 16 year old youth had been arrested. In connection with the incident. He cut down the sycamore tree. 
<sighs> After the tree was found cut down, 16-year-old boy was swiftly arrested and released on bail. Then on Friday night, police arrested Lumberjack Walter Renrick, 69. Oh, and he cut down the rest of it. Whatever. What a fucking idiot. People do shit like that, like... It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. You're the reason why we all want to just die and go. We all want to die and go to heaven faster because of your stupidity. Your stupidity is not fluidity. It's not. Um, What else do I want to talk about? I mean, that's pretty much goddamn rap, you know? I mean, I only have much else, man. We've been talking. We've been going at it. Your boy popped a, a headache pill. You know, I had a... I had to fucking... Go through it. You know, having fever dreams and shit. It is very rare, too. It has to do with something the liver or something about alcohol. Like, I don't know, man. I'm updated to the hall. And... I gotta, I gotta correct that. I'm thinking about taking a break and just going back on my trippy shit, or just going back on just smoking, smoking big blunts. Uh, maybe beer. Beer never really bothers me like that, so I'll stick to the high life, you know, nice old light beer. I'll stick to the light beers. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick to light beers. And uh, uh, mostly marijuana. I slow down on the. I slowed down on that, you know. <laughs> you know, I, sn- I slowed down on the snow, on the snow trails. Haven't been skiing as much. Uh, don't got my schedule yet for Speak Cheesy. So I'm waiting for that. And sheesh. What else are we going to say that I haven't been said? You know, um, I just saw this. I just saw this movie trailer. I seen it. I heard it. Even when I'm not on the cast, I hear trailers, bro. I hear them. I close my eyes. I'm not gonna lie. I have I have my fingers doing that weird peeking thing. Where you kind of peek a little bit, but I didn't. It's called Night Swim. It's based off a short film. Here it is. No running, no diving, no lifeguard on duty, no swimming after dark. It's a little work, but I don't think it's gonna last, gonna last long. If let me read the story. Let me let me read you the lore. First of all, it's not out yet. Coming soon to theaters. It's a Atomic Monster and Bloomhouse. You know, as a producer, they're the producers of Megan. Um, it's based on the acclaimed 2014 short film by Rod Blackhurst and Bryce McGuire. Um, secretly hoping against the odds. The return to pro ball, Ray persuades Eve that the new home shimmering backyard swimming pool will be fun for the kids and provide physical therapy for him. But a dark secret in the home's past will unleash a malevolent force, a malevolent force that will drag the family under into the depths of inescapable terror. Hey, if you're going to use the word malevol, ma- malevol- dude, if you're going to use the word spell it correctly, cause I, I'm like fucking Ron Burgundy, man. I'll read whatever's on the screen. Okay, don't do that. Oh, that's nice. One of the original people, he's directing it. Nice one was written and directed by Bryce McGuire. Nice. The filmmaker James Wan is absolutely behind this. Behind he was behind Saw and Cities and the Conjuring franchises, and the producer of the Halloween films, The Black Phone and The Invisible Man. Damn. Okay, I didn't know all that. All right, let's let's play it. I'm gonna listen with you. By the way, I love when horror movies start off with that. It's like that one or one to three notes of just a piano or something, where it's like, oh, this is kind of happy, but then it becomes all bad. It's a little work, but 
I don't think it's gonna last long at this price. There's a pool. I always wanted a pool. Is this everything? I'm going into it. Y'all okay. ready? Sounds nice. Definitely some water going on. Marco. Hello. Aw, <laughs> sounds like some fun's going Marco. on. Marco. Hello. <laughs> Marco. I, I hear you. I think I've seen a little bit of this part. He's not even in the pool no more. You need to say something back. He walked out like a dick. I can hear you. Why aren't you saying anything? Ronan, you're dead. Oh, what's happening? Marco. Did somebody order a demon with that night swim? I got an extra demon on 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 standby for your night swim. Anybody in particular want to face their demons in the night swim? First of all, I was scared when I heard water because pools. Ah! But, dude, I I'm reading the comment like this bitch had her eyes closed the whole time she screamed Marco Polo. Like, dude. And the trailer. Someone said I like that the trailer didn't give away too much away. Give too much away. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Didn't read all the comments. But, hey. Coming soon. Night Swim. Let's go. Like for really? The hell is this? Oh, well, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up like I'm gonna wrap it up like I don't want to have no baby, and I and I'm protecting from. I'm trying to be protected from infections. I'm gonna wrap it up like Christmas gifts before the holidays. Um, it's been nice chatting. It's been nice chatting. It's always a pleasure chatting with y'all motherfuckers. I swear to God. Um. Yeah. So that's the end of the cast. Go check out that 30 minutes and 15 minutes I got with progress. Um, The 30 minutes that we have right now that's uploaded is Bad Lieutenant. By the time I drop this, there'll probably be another 30 minutes uploaded. I don't know what the name would be called. Will be called. I don't know the title of it, but uh, trust me. If you haven't heard saw the Bad Lieutenant one yet, the one with the one without Nicholas Cage, go check that out. Um, go get my go get my man's progress on the base to follow. I gotta catch up with him. Phone been having problems. I've been having problems. Um, and like I said, like I do delete my Instagram so I can at least get through half my day without double tapping on some fine bitch with ass or looking at memes or being overly involved in my friend's life because they they're always everyone's always posting things um there's also the alien special part one up it's the an hour max with max featuring progress i begin requests from homies to be on the on the podcast i would say email me but i know all of you motherfuckers in person so i will I will be taking it down, drawing it down. First one on the list is my boy Danny. My boy Danny. Damn, Daniel. And we got a lot of co- lot of topics. We got a lot of cockpits. We got a lot of cockpits and a lot of topics. 
No, we got a lot of topics we want to talk about. You know, like I said, this wasn't originally supposed to have any guests on it. It's supposed to just me, myself, and I. But I was like, hey, 2023, we trying new things. And, yeah. Go check out that first Alien special with me in progress if you haven't. New guests will be on the show. Nothing for nothing EP coming soon. Like I said, man, I'm going to drop something before this. Like, to have, like, my greatest hits. Because I got a lot of new songs, and I don't want to condense it. So, I'm basically, I basically s- scrapped whatever I kind of had before. Like, most of it. And I'm adding new stuff. And everything I either scrapped or is a classic, I'm putting it on my greatest hits. So, I'm going to have a greatest hits thing coming out. Not even the greatest hits. It's probably going to be, like, ten songs. Whatever, give or take. Just something for the internet to play around with. It might just be on YouTube. And, you know, it's like whatever. But uh, Nothing For Nothing EP is coming uh, soon. Going to keep on saying that until I drop it. Subscribe, follow, and share. Drop your thoughts in the comments. You know? Tell me how you tell me how you're feeling. Tell me if it's something you want me to cover. Tell me if I'm wrong. Correct me. Um, Whatever you got to do. Whatever you got to do to feel you. Whatever you got to do to feel you, boo-boo. You know? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I mean, we did it. But uh, we just going to slide up on out of here. And keep living life. So... See you when I see you. This has been an hour, Max, with Max. And I got to get the fuck out of here. See you when I see you. Peace.